pinag-uusapan natin ngayon are the Sony Space Lip Deep Lip Cream. Ito sila, ayan. I got three shades for now, but of course, like I always do, I make sure to get one pink, one nude, and then red. The shade range is really nice. It was actually hard for me to pick the colors that I would show for this review kasi lahat sila actually maganda. Medyo nakulangan lang ako ng konti with the darker ones. But I think for starters, it was really a nice shade range and those are the colors that would really suit Filipina skin tone. So good job done si Sunny Space. So price, they are sold for 345 each and so 345 Sasabihin ko na sa inyo, I like this lipsticks or lip creams. Tinry ko sila while I was doing the B-roll. And I just happened to like them. I'm actually wearing one in Love You So Much or LYSM. But I'm guessing that's Love You So Much or Like You So Much. They come in this matte na very minimalistic na packaging. So my logo ng Sunny's face. I think this is similar to the packaging of their Air Blush. So you got a doe foot applicator with it. Although the doe foot applicator, I would say, needs a little improvement kasi medyo mahirap i-maneuver. Medyo maikli siya and hindi siya bendable. So if they could possibly elongate yung doe foot applicator niya or make it bendable, that would be better. So, very minimalistic but at the same time, alam mo yun, ang lakas ng dating. Nung packaging niya, mapagkakamalan mo na 500 pesos, 800 pesos or up to 1,000 pa nga. Nung naglabas si Sunny Space ng teaser sa IG nila, I was easily reminded of the 3CE lipsticks. Wala ko nung mga 3CE lipsticks but it was not hard for me to see some similarities pagdating sa packaging and yung pinaka layout ng product. Outer packaging of the Sunny Space Lip Tip is also as good as the actual component. Of course, it's expected of Sunny space. To be honest, I'm really over liquid lipsticks. Um, I prefer bullet lipsticks nowadays. Pero nung naglabas sila ng lip tip and nalaman ko na parang velvety yung dating na, I was curious to see how it would compare to the fluff matte. Yung pakiramdam nito sa labi guys, masasabi ko na para siyang liquid version ng mga fluff matte nila. And yung ini-aim nila na blotted lips, yung parang, alam mo yun, yung parang natural lang yung lips na merong lip color, yung very uso sa mga Korean, ganyan, or yung very minimalistic or parang natural makeup. Totoo yun. Even with this red shade that they have, I tried to layer it and see if it would look like a normal liquid lipstick, but no, it doesn't. Pag nilagay mo siya, Alam mo yun, nagtaturn talaga siya into blotted lip. It smells like vanilla, but not that obnoxious vanilla na masakit sa ulo. So, okay din sa akin yung amoy nito. Pagdating naman sa actual na pakiramdam niya sa lips or sa texture niya, masasabi ko na very moussey talaga yung pinaka-texture. And sobrang lambot niya, guys. Pero, ito yung klase ng lip product na mararamdaman mo talaga na meron kang salt. Kasi merong mga lipstick or merong mga liquid lipstick especially na kapag nilagay mo, parang wala eh. Hindi mo mararamdaman, ay meron pala akong product dito sa lips ko. Pero ito, you can really feel it. And that's the same comment that I had with their fluff matte. May konting bigat sila sa pakiramdam. Na hindi sila yung tipo na undetectable yung dating, no? Talagang mararamdaman mo sila. So, kung ikaw yung tao na ayaw mo ng pakiramdam na meron ka sa na lipstick, then this is not for you. Siguro dahil may weight siya sa kanya or parang mabigat siya sa pakiramdam, kaya din talaga may emphasize yung feeling na parang drying siya, ganun. So, medyo contradicting but that's the best way that I can express or that I can say kung ano yung pakiramdam niya. When you touch your lips or kapag in-apply mo siya, moosey yung feeling niya, pero... It doesn't go unnoticed and meron siyang pagka-drying ng kaunti. Nothing really uncomfortable naman pagdating sa pagka-drying niya, pero meron talagang kaunti. I wanna keep it short and sweet and say that I really like this lip creams. Um, I actually really love the fact that it's a blotted lip kasi good sila for everyday use. So, I do recommend them. Just take note of the cons that I said about it being a bit drying and a bit heavy. Kasi, depende naman yun sa uh, 
um, preference nyo pagdating sa lip product. Sa longevity, I have not yet tried this for a full day. Pero kanina, while I was doing the B-roll, I noticed na yung swatches dito sa hands ko. Although sobrang nipis nun kasi I tried to blend them. Hindi siya natanggal no naliligo ako until kinuskos ko na siya. But I will update you guys on the comment section kapag na-try ko na silang isuot. Kung gaano katagal sila magwe-wear off. So that is it for my review of the Sony's Face Lip Tip Lip Creams. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. May you all have clear skin and happy hearts. Bye!